Hey everybody, I wanted to show you how easy it is to do live results at your meet um, with RaceTap, as, especially if you're using um, MileSplit um, for online registration, or frankly, you don't even have to use this for online registration, but if you download the meet for MileSplit, um, it comes with, a, with a, a link to our server so that you can use this free service. Um, so let's get started. So anyway, I just downloaded um, a random meet here that's going to happen tonight. I'm going to just make up um, some results in a second just to show you how it works. Uh, but what you want to do is over here on the events tab, you click the web button. So it says web. And um, you notice over here, upload destinations. We have, um, if you don't download it from MileSplit, you won't even see this, but it says MileSplit Live. We actually don't let you uncheck it because, frankly, if you're going to use RaceTab, you know, uh, we we want to get the results, so you know as kind of a thank you, we want you to use our service. But uh, anyway, so you can also upload it to a custom FTP server. So if you say I don't want to rely on this MileSplit service, um, you can key it in here, and uh, it will do the same thing to your own FTP server. So that's up to you. But the nice thing about it is, you know, a lot of people, most people, don't know about FTP servers and don't want to have to worry about that. So we kind of take the that's what we try to do with race tab you know make it easy for you to take that hassle out of out of your hands and uh, just use us so um so that's all you have to do, go here and on the left hand side I just want to point out these different things these upload triggers and what an upload trigger is is when any of these things happen it'll trigger race tab in the background to uh, to send to update those live results to the web so again we're trying to make this easier for you so you don't have to remember another thing of uh, you know uh, another step of uploading to the web it'll do it for you just set this here with these upload triggers and magically you'll be pushed into the web now of course you will have to have an internet connection at the meet um, I mean there's no two ways around that but um, however you can get online from the meet you can make this happen so just do here go to the web and you can even click upload now here to manually do it um, so it says upload it successfully to MileSplit and available at live.milesplit.com. Um, what I'm going to do here is close out of here and go to this 800 meters. I'm just going to make up some names just to put some results in here. Um, so just put in some times. And just put in some names. Sounds good to me. So now all I'm going to do is click score. It's going to score this meet and what you didn't even see but it did is it uploaded it live to the web so if I go and pull up a, a web browser here and go to live.milesplit.com we'll see that my meet is right here this shows you all the meets that are publishing live uh, and so we just go to this 1A District 4 and if we click on that boys 800 that I just did there are those results that I just published um, instantly live you didn't even notice it was happening another thing to point out is this is mobile friendly so if I resize this browser down here to the size of a mobile phone you'll see actually what it look like for people on mobile phones so you can tell even people at the meet hey go to live.milesplit.com um, they can pull up those meet results here's the board 1600 I made up a little bit ago um, and you can also go down down here and uh, you can actually pull up team rosters as well so it's another kind of cool thing that they can they can pull up and so here's the team roster not only the roster but at the bottom of the page we have one result from this team so it will show you the results by team as well so um, I hope you'll enjoy this and um, and hope you can use it at your meet